Hi, welcome to TME Education. Today I'm going to show you our electronic experiment kits based on AIDS practical projects because there are so many ways to learn electronics but the easiest way is to practice it to fun and hands-on experiments. You will learn about the logic gates and how to use them properly to make your own projects. In the first experiments you will use non-logic gate beside the capacitor to control the time delay of the light. Up next, in the second experiments, you will understand the capacitor and you will learn how to connect them together to make a people or power supply. Later, you will be able to use them in more complex circuits. The third experiment is very interesting as you will have a chance to use the most popular integrated circuits such as timer, decoder, and a counter to generate a random number and use it in a seven segment display. More cool projects continue within the first experiment. You will learn how to use the voltage regulator beside the punch meter in experiment number 4. Then you will be able to create an adjustable power source to deliver a certain amount of the voltage to your load. If you'd like to know more about the components, this data sheet describes the performance and provides technical information about all of them in details. In the experiment number 5, you will practice your theoretical knowledge about semiconductors and the fundamentals of photoconductivity in real circuits. By using a photoresistor, you will see different components reaction to lights and you can use this phenomenon to control almost everything. Let's go to six experiments. You will create really useful projects by using the operation amplifier and the people are supplied from the second experiment. This will enable you to design a sensor to check the humidity of the ground. When the ground is dry, the red light is on and the green light is off. When the ground is wet, the red light will go off and the green will go on. A lot of fun in the seven experiments. Beside the microphone and different type of capacitor, you will use the bipolar supply from the second experiment to create an acoustic relay or a clap sensor that reacts to sounds. Now you can simply switch on the circuit by clapping. In the last experiment, you will master the use of resistors with different values in one circuit and with the aid of LEDs, you will be able to create an analog voltmeter, which gives results for different values of voltages in a colorful way. With electronic experiment kits, now you can easily see that mathematics and physics lecture finally make sense. And you can use electronics to make projects that help the environment around you, make someone smile and impress your friends. Now is the time to turn your ideas into reality. Keep up with us and follow our fan page on Facebook. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date our latest videos. Stay tuned for more from TME Education and visit our website on tmeeducation.com.